PSG are planning to steal Xavi from Barca. Bayern are terrifying the Catalans with a new statement on Lewandowski's future. While Liverpool are about to announce their new big signing. All these and more you'll find in our new episode. Let's get started! Chelsea and Sevilla still can't agree on Jules Koundé's final transfer fee. The Blues offered 50 million euros, but the bid was rejected. Manchester United prospect Amadello wants to play more and is keen to go for another loan move. Fabio Cannavaro might become the new head coach of the Poland national team. Negotiations resumed yesterday. Genoa and Juventus offer Alberto Gilardino the coaching work at their youth teams. The Italian legend is thinking about the opportunities. Bayern are about to make a second offer for Sadio Mane. Liverpool are expected to accept the improved offer. Tottenham intend to get Brazilian striker Richarlison. Everton demand around 50 million euros. Mourinho asks Roma to sign two midfielders. These are Douglas Luiz from Aston Villa and Ruben Neves from Wolves. Roma have turned down the possibility of signing Welsh star Gareth Bale, according to Calcio Mercato. Liverpool are interested in Dynamo Kyiv winger Viktor Tsigankov. The 24-year-old Ukrainian might be signed to replace Sadio Mane. Italian veteran Giorgio Chiellini joined Los Angeles FC as a free agent. The contract terms are not yet revealed. Juventus are considering David Neres as a plan B for Angel Di Maria's transfer, according to Gianluca Di Marzio. Dybali is getting closer to signing a 3 plus 1 contract with Inter worth 6 million euros per year and bonuses. Andrei Pirlo takes charge of Fatih Karagumruk. The contract is valid until June 2023, with the possibility to extend it for another year. From the outside, people think that it's easy for PSG and that matches are won in advance, Marco Verratti told PSG Press Service. Liverpool's attackers are the players I currently really like watching, Ronaldinho admitted. Barcelona may sign Granada goalkeeper Maximiano for 12.5 million euros in case Neto leaves Camp Nou. Chelsea are currently beating Real Madrid in the hunt for Gabriel Slonina. The 18-year-old goalie will stay at Chicago on loan. Could have written a book on how not to do transfers with such signings like Ronaldo or Sanchez, Robbie Fowler claimed. Juventus are confident in Paul Pogba's transfer. The announcement is expected for early July. Gianluigi Donnarumma was insulted by a man following Italy's match against England. Presumably, it was a Milan fan. I wouldn't take Lukaku back to Inter. He said he was going to his dream team, Antonio Cassano said. Yeah, Griezmann has scored only one goal this year, but all the great players have had such periods, whether it's Cristiano, Zidane or Ronaldo. Karim Benzema has come to the defense of his teammate Antoine. Juventus are close to signing Filip Kostic. The Eintracht winger has agreed to the transfer. Ronaldo remains the best, but not everyone can perform like Benzema and Modric. Early and Chomany admitted. The Ballon d'Or is Mbappe's fate. He'll keep breaking records whether it's Liga 1, Champions League or any other competition. Bubakar Kamara is quoted by Telefot. The Barcelona captains made a grand gesture by agreeing to pay cuts. Nobody else did this before, Joan Laporta said. Erling Haaland has scored 20 goals in 21 games for Norway. He has a brace and one assist against Sweden. Messi didn't have middle ground at the Copa America final. It was either God or Hell, Rodrigo de Pau claimed. PSG once again contacted Inter Milan concerning Milan Skriniar. The 27-year-old defender is the main target for the Parisians. Juventus has held three meetings with Nicola Zaniolo's agent. Roma demand 50 million euros for their young leader. Borja Mayoral and the second top scorer at Castilla Juan La Tessa will be backup leaders for Benzema next season. Jovic and Mariano have disappointed Real's management. Obviously, Cristiano Ronaldo is the best player in the world and it's always good to play with him, Ruben Neves admitted. Real Madrid confirmed Marcelo's departure. He spent 15 years with Los Blancos and became their most decorated player with 25 trophies. England's goal is to be world champions. We are going into this tournament as one of the favorites, English captain Harry Kane said. Here you have the results of the Sunday match day in the Nations League. We are moving on to the top news. Let's talk about yesterday's Nations League fixtures. 
In Group A, Spain defeated Czech Republic thanks to Carlos Soler and Pablo Sarabia. In the same group, Switzerland got three points after a win over Portugal 1-0, with Seferovic on the scoreboard. In Group B, we point out Norway's win against Sweden 3-2 and Erling Haaland's stunning performance with two goals and one assist. Napoli have offered Kaledu Koulibaly a new contract amid interest from several big clubs. The 30-year-old's current agreement with the Neapolitan club expires in the summer of 2023. According to Corriere dello Sport, Napoli have offered a five-year deal with a salary of 8 million euros per year before taxes, which improves his current agreement worth 6 million euros a year. PSG and Chelsea have requested information on the Sinigli Sanchepac, but Barcelona in fact have shown the most specific interest. Napoli will ask for at least 40 million euros as a decision on his future could be made in the coming days. In just a few days, Benfica's Darwin Nunez will officially become Liverpool's player. The Times writes that the English club is confident that they are about to finalize the deal for the 22-year-old striker. The player will start undergoing a medical for Liverpool today, which might last until Wednesday. The transfer fee is 75 million euros. Another 15 million euros Benfica can receive as bonuses depending on the number of matches played by Nunez in the Liverpool squad. An additional 10 million euros bonus might arrive in case of Darwin's successful performance in the Liverpool jersey. Liverpool didn't face any problems with signing a six-year contract as Nunez is going to take his place among Liverpool's highest-paid players after the club agreed to pay such a significant transfer amount. Bayern Munich's sporting director spoke about the future of Robert Lewandowski. He has a contract until 2023, and we are happy that he's here with us. I think now things will calm down. We know what we have with Robert, and he knows what he has at Bayern. We spoke about his public statements, and we should all calm down," Hassan Salahamidzic told Bill TV. PSG and Mauricio Pochettino have agreed to terminate his contract. Last week, the head coach had a meeting with the PSG board to discuss the results of the 2021-22 season, in which the club brought the Liga 1 gold medals but suffered the Champions League crush after losing to Real Madrid at the round of 16. According to The Athletic, the parties came to a mutual decision to terminate cooperation. Both the coach and PSG bosses consider this the most reasonable solution. Paris Saint-Germain keep fighting for the chance to appoint Zinedine Zidane as head coach. According to journalist Romain Molina, this week the former France national team midfielder refused all the offers that came from Paris as the parties failed to agree. At the same time, the club's new football advisor, Luis Campos, continues to insist that Christophe Galtier, who is currently in charge of Nice, is the man who should take over at PSG. The PSG board continued to go over any possible candidates to lead the team this summer. Romain Molina informs that after Zidane rejected the offer, the Qatari Sheikhs switched their focus to Barcelona's head coach Xavi. They'll try their best to convince Xavi to at least think about working at Parc des Prince. But right now this is nothing more than the dream option, which is something unreal as Xavi is happy at Barca and is fully focused on the club's preseason. Dear friends, don't forget about our brand new channel, Football Club, which really needs your support. Here's the video, so make sure to watch and subscribe. And that was Football Nice. Have a nice one and see you in a bit.